Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time, except for today. Yes, I'm so excited to be reacting to the new release of my third favorite band of all time, Pet Shop Boys, titled Nonetheless. I've loved Pet Shop Boys as long as I can remember since I was a child when they first came out in the 80s, thanks to my sister introducing me to them and their first album. Wow, incredible stuff. They've been with me growing up, through high school, through college, through adulthood. Beautiful music, right up my alley. That electronic goodness that I love, uh, similar to what I wrote in my songs. Just so much passion, so much beauty, so much everything. And then the unique voice of Neil, always a treat, so special. I'm expecting greatness here. I read one review so far, and it sounds amazing because I hear they use a lot of orchestra on probably several of the songs. You might know how I feel about orchestra. Uh, between that, the usual lyrical brilliance, the usual melodic brilliance, Neil's voice, uh, I'm just expecting the very best. So let's get right into it. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community where it's all amazing music all the time. Here we go. Track one is Loneliness. <laughs> Atmospheric already. Didn't expect that.
back to that beginning vibe. <laughs> More bell, please. So much atmosphere, as usual. Wow, strong opener. You know, this one really has everything that I love about Pet Shop Boys. Uh, their classic mix of, you know, obviously electronic dance music, which they're so known for, uh, striking moods, and full rich emotions, all here in full display. Excellent instrumentation. Thank you, Neil and Chris. Uh, I heard so much of their old work in this song. You know, they have practically 40 years of callback opportunities with this new music to their past music. Wow. This had to be a single. I purposefully avoided this album, anything about it, because I knew I wanted to do a reaction, but definitely a strong, single-worthy song. They gave us so much. This really nice bell. You know how I feel about orchestral instruments. That's why I'm so excited for this album. The keyboards, of course, were heaven. Uh, strings, beautiful strings. I'm completely sold. It's Pet Shop Boys, my number three favorite band of all time, so it doesn't take much. Um, the pulsating beat was so enjoyable. And of course, those full emotional choruses that I talked about. They really craft the perfect melodies. Memorable, strong, emotional. On full display right here. Song two is titled Feel. More dense. harmonies.
Right there, at the very end, a call back to their song, Two Divided by Zero. Wow. Wow, that was gorgeous. So much to love in this one as well. Such a strong song. Uh, Neil, wow, he hasn't lost a bit of his vocal talent. No one in the world sings like him. That's one reason I love him so much. Uh, vocal melodies and the harmonies were the star here. Wow, completely beautiful. And as always, just enough darkness thrown in there to give a full emotional and well-rounded song. A beautiful bridge, we quieted down, more glorious harmonies. Everything was so memorable in this one. Everything was pulling at my heartstrings, those melodies. This is definitely single-worthy as well. I'm not sure if it was or will be, but I think it should be just ethereally beautiful. Track three, Why Am I Dancing? Will it be another dance song? I think so.
Wow, that went by really fast. We're still in dance territory. I'm just waiting for their ballads. I hope there's more than one or at least one. I'm sure there will be. They do those so brilliantly as well. Um, didn't connect as much with this one on first listen, but that's fine. It was still great to hear. I think this is the first one that uses horns, uh, more subtle strings way in the back there. Uh, this is more of that updated 2024 Pet Shop Boy sound, but it's still so classically them, so many of the same elements. Their sound, you know, evolves slightly, but it's always that core sound. Wow. Neil uh, showing off his lower register in this one. That still sounds lovely as well. Just a short and sweet song. The lyrics may be not so happy, not so sweet. I'm not sure I haven't delved into them, but still enjoyable. Track four, New London Boy. I think we have our ballad.
Wow, that's exactly the bell that I wanted. Amazing stuff. We got this great slow groove, the perfect tempo, a bit hypnotic throughout the song, just a classic Pet Shop Boys ballad. Um, I love the strong bass here, very deep. I love the drum patterns going on. Just a beautiful simplicity to this one. Uh, but then that change up, a huge change up. Wow. We get some of those classic spoken vocals by Neil, a bit of a rap. He mentions Roxy and Bowie, or was it Roxy Music? I'm not sure if he said that whole name. I hope he was referring to them. I've had both of them on my channel and love them. So cool that there was a callback to them. A dark turn for sure, my favorite part of the song by a clear mile. Uh, then back to the slow driving beauty. Wow. Then we get the saxophone so unexpected. They don't use saxophone too often in their music, so that was just beautiful. Another perfect layer to a perfect Pet Shop Boys ballad. Hopefully that was a saxophone. All right, song number five, Dancing Star. A lot of dancing in this album. Amalfi Blue skies, blue sea it's a long way from Siberia. How did you get here? West End Girls vibes. Jump the barrier while all we have was. Climb a little call asylum there. To call the KGB boys by surprise. I think they thought that you would never dare. Interesting to begin and end with the, you know, water and bird sounds. Another great one. I love the West End Girls style beat drums going on. Also a nice pounding driving bass. Also a callback to West End Girls in my opinion. Love that. Um, backing vocals had a different tone to them. I almost thought there were some guest singers, but then as I zoned in, I realized it's Neil singing, just changing his voice a bit. Uh, such an 80s callback song. A lot of great stuff going on there. Again, so reminiscent of, you know, 85, the West End Girls era. The chorus, so catchy. Another one that can and should be a single. Track six, A New Bohemia. Will we get another ballad? I hope so. I 
Like silent movie stars in 60s Hollywood No one knows who you are in the hipster neighborhood Your only friend is a memory of a dream Walking down the strip looking for the latest scene Where have they gone? Play petit bonbon Who dances now To their sweet old song I wish I lived My life Free and easier I need to find A new bohemia Hot on the heels Of the absolute class chance I watch them trying out something new from France Kamikaze eyes locked in a trance Improvising a wild hypnotic dance Where have they gone? Les Petit Bonbon Who dances now? Their sweet old song I wish I lived My life Free and easier I need to find A new bohemia Every day is a warning Evening might forget Then the following morning has The sweet smell of regret I'm always in love Nice bridge I'm My life is a mess Like an unmade bed Where have they gone? Like petit bonbon Who dances now? To the sweet old song I wish I lived My life Free and easier to find a new bohemia Where are they now? Where have they gone? Who dances now to the song? I wish I lived my life free and easy Perfect way to end that song. More deep mood going on here. You're never left wanting for that in their music. They're the experts at mood. I love the rocking, swaying vibe that I was in through the whole song. Again, a perfect tempo. Uh, just the right amount of melancholy in the music as well. I adored that. I can tell this is a very introspective song as far as the lyrics, so I'll have to dive into those later. I preferred the first ballad on the album, but as with all Pet Shop Boys music, never ever a bad song in my opinion. I love that they ended with that instrumental coda. It was lush, it was glorious, definitely one of the best parts of the song. Alright, track 7, The Schlager Hit Parade. Is this going to be a crazy one? They usually throw in one or two of those in their albums. Let's see. Maybe not. If you think you're going down, 
In haze all black and brown You need some happy music When winter comes around Blue first and sour crowns Sun and sangria We're speeding on a speedboat We're heading up to Shangri-La I love that we get a nice warm turn in this song as far as the journey of the album with the inclusion of that great acoustic guitar. Uh, then surprise, a dance beat starts, kicks in, returns to kind of uh, contrast the song there. Um, nice mid-tempo vibe though, loved it. Again, they're always the kings of great bridges. I love the bridge here. There's a lot of bridges in this album. I'm a huge fan of bridges, so it's a nice variation for sure. As always, in this song and every song so far, there's been amazing instrumentation as well on full display. Uh, great melodies in this one, especially that short chorus. Really cool. It's Flying By, track number eight, The Secret of Happiness. <laughs> As the Mona Lisa I read between your lines That's when I find That you possess All that I need The secret of happiness You stand And I'm impressed
shareholders' headlines by chance or design. Fluttering the latest thing, your pearls before the swine. Northern skies and butterflies, it's still light at ten. Moon is rising, trees are sighing. A top again. contender for my favorite on the album. That's when I find that you possess all that I want, the secret of happiness you share. I never guess all that. I I guess it was okay. <laughs> I'll need a minute. Wow, didn't expect that. No, it's not that it might be. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this is my absolute favorite song on the album. Incredible. You saw what it did to me, a bit embarrassing, but you know I don't care. I show the true emotion that these songs give to me, and boy, did this one give me a lot. Ah, uh, so where do we start? A big throwback in the beginning to their song, Being Boring. I think I read that in the review, so I thought, okay, this will be nice. Little did I know. Um, a nice use of percussion here, I think more on the Latin side. Uh, definitely Latin vibes in this song. It reminded me of a song by them called It Always Comes as a Surprise, one of my all-time favorites, also a Latin feel. So, of course, when I see that connection, I'm overjoyed already. Ah, but once the chorus hit, wow, blown away. The deepest emotions I felt. The first tears from this album, incredible. Uh, so hard to describe. 
I got this callback feel to the 70s for some reason. Very 70s, very nostalgic with the melody and the chords in that chorus. Incredible. Then another surprise around the three-quarter mark. We get kind of breezy in the feel, almost a tropical island vibe. Again, the tie to that Latin. Uh, the strings come in. They dominate with their glorious tone, their glorious melody. Wow. Just incredible beautiful beyond i'd probably give it a triple platinum if i was doing this as a single song reaction in fact i will give it a triple platinum record award the song drew me in devoured me spit me out and left me here speechless don't think anything can top that but there's two more left let's see track nine is called bullet for narcissus amazing titles as well in several of these Okay, so we're back to electronic dance music in this one. A nice and huge 180 from the last song. 
I love that nice electric guitar melody slash interlude. I think that's what it was. Sure sounded like it. Uh, very un Pet Shop Boys, in my opinion. It came uh, through several moments in the song, so enjoyed that for sure. A nice surprise. Uh, but the last song was still on my mind so much, but still I enjoyed it, you know. A straightforward, uh, enjoyable dance song. Great moments as well. It's just so much to take in in one listen. I'll have to uh, enjoy each of these and learn each of these separately. And there was definitely some shades of their song New York City Boy in this one. Another great song if you want to check it out. Wow, incredible album. We have one more left. And we end with number 10, Love is the Law. Sounds deep. What will we get? I hope we end slow. It comes and goes, ebbs and flows. Love's a profession plied beneath the moon. It waits and watches, weaves and touches, catch it like a cone. No one is immune. And every night there's a busy train. Love is the law that must be obeyed And every day the price is paid Love is the law And a trick of the trade lyrics Such happy days spent in idleness Now the sea is warm and the wine is young the Evening brings the action and the main attraction Love is a mood and a slip of the tongue But every night there's a busy train Love is the law that Obey. 
and a call back to It's a Sin. Wow, another beautiful one. I got so many ballads here. I think at least three, maybe four. Uh, more slow darkness in this one. I love that they ended slow, dark, reflective. More nice percussion going on. And I really love that single piano chord that was striking my soul over and over. Dun, dun. I got slight shades of Depeche Mode with that dark piano just a bit. A really nice callback, obviously, my number one favorite band of all time. In this song, I felt like my heart and my soul were slowly melting. What a feeling. Um, I love the ominous building string melodies that started occurring. I don't know if they started in the beginning or the middle, but that was glorious to hear so many strings in this album. I knew I was going to get that, and boy, did they deliver. The drama building, building, building at the end, as I wanted, as expected, you know, at the end of one of their albums. And we just get these heavenly, ethereal, and memorable chords to end a most amazing album. So clearly, Pet Shop Boys has not lost a single thing. In fact, I think they're even better than ever as we grow with them, as they grow in age, mature, been through life, been through 15 albums or so. Uh, just incredible music here. It never gets old. Their talent hasn't wavered a bit. Wow, so many incredible moments here. I enjoyed everything. Obviously, some more than others. But number eight, The Secret of Happiness, absolutely broke me in the best way possible. So obviously, 10 huge thumbs up for all 10 of these songs. A beautiful listening experience. Thank you so much, Pet Shop Boys, for delivering another stunning album. Wow. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, or at least some of it at least half as much as I did. Incredible music here, in my opinion. So thank you again, Neil Tennant and Chris Lowe, for decades of this brilliance. All right, that is it for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you wish to chat about this album. I would love to know what your favorites are. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. Thank you so much for listening with me. I'll see you next time in the past.